So what's up guys how do you do welcome to today's edition of programming is TV So in this particular class we're going to discuss thread start and then of course in the next one we'll discuss the parameterized thread start okay so these are two delegates that we're going to look at and they're actually very important especially when we're dealing with threads so we're going to start with the thread start well a thread start is just a delegate and it is defined in the system the threading namespace now the thread start delegate represents the method that will execute on a thread okay as you know a thread is a separate line of execution that of course runs in a process and of course whatever you're going to execute on a thread the method of course you will need to pass it to a thread via delegate so this is a thread start right here which of course uh, th it is this thread start delegate that normally represents uh, that particular method okay that takes no parameter that you're going to pass okay so yeah threads of course do allow us to write concurrent programs no for us to be able to uh, write this type of programs we have to pass them the method and that method of course actually needs to be run in the background thread so normally we use the thread start delegate to hold the reference to that particular method if we talk about a delegate basically we're talking about an object that can hold the method references so yeah okay normally typic uh you normally you cannot actually pass methods around okay around constructors or around other methods okay because as you know m uh methods normally you use them to actually execute actions but of course there will be maybe sometimes where you actually need to pass a method for example a method that does not return anything okay so you'd need to pass them around of course to other methods or to um a constructors okay so in those particular cases you can actually use delegates okay especially if those methods are methods that you don't know yet at compile time or they are methods that do not have any return type so you can actually use the delegate to hold those particular method references then you can then pass the delegate around so thread start delegate allow us to pass of course to threads okay to the thread constructor it allow us to pass the methods around and those method methods that we pass will actually be executed in the background thread so first let's exploit api of course we've said it's a delegate it's public that's why we're able to access it as you can see now the thread start expects a method that is actually empty as you can s sorry that is returning void okay that does not return any data so and that particular method should also not take any parameter so yeah it is a top it is a top level object and as we talked about it uh, earlier on it is defined in the system the threading namespace which of course is itself defined in the mscolib.dll so what we're going to do is that we're going to look at an example right here in our visual studio of how to use a thread start so let's go write the example so we are going to come right here and of course have this mr thread start as our of course project now we come right here first we're going to have our namespace okay we call it mr thread start then we're going to import the system as well as the system the threading namespaces we'll come create the class and the class we call program then we're going to have our main method okay then of course we're going to create this method called show galaxies now it is this method that we want to be executed or to be run in the background thread so as you can see it's a void method it does not return anything and we call it show galaxies it also does not take anything so that makes it a good candidate to be represented by the thread start delegate so what we'll come and do is first define what the method is actually going to do so in this particular case our method is basically going to print out this particular text in our console okay using the right line method then we create the simple a simple string array and what we're going to do is that we're going to look through this particular array and print the contents of the array in the console so in this case my array is going to have the enablers so we're going to use a for each loop to look through the array 
and then print its contents so for each var nebula in nebulas then console the try train nebula so we're going to write the contents of the array in our console having done that one we'll come to our main method and then we're going to jump to this particular thread state okay thread set now before looking at it let's right click your a visual studio if you're using visual studio just right click it then come to the go to definition okay so we want to see the definition of this one you can see it is defined in the system the threading and as you can see it's a delegate okay public delegate void thread sat now clearly you can see the delegate is not going to take any parameter and the delegate is actually a returning void okay so yeah of course this our method can therefore be held in that particular delegate so we'll come and say thread start my thread start equal to show galaxies as you can see of course with the delegate we don't have to explicitly uh, instantiate it we can just assign it the method then of course the compiler will instantiate it for us so show galaxies you just pass the method name normally if you want to represent a method of a delegate you don't you only pass the method name okay because remember the delegate its role is just to hold the reference to the that particular method so thread my thread having created our thread start we're not going to instantiate the thread thread my thread equal to new thread then we pass in the delegate my thread start so the delegate that we've actually passed has a reference to our method that will be executed by the thread so we come and say my thread dot start this is going to start of course our thread which is a separate line of execution of course in our process now of course this program is going to run on its own process okay so we come and say console retrieve line then we come in fact that's all we need to do then we come run the project so let's run the project and see what we are getting okay so if we run the project clearly you can see of course our contents are actually being printed okay so first it tells us that it is starting the galaxies thread and then it prints all those galaxies in our galaxies thread so very simple example however the role was actually to show us how to work with the thread start and the important thing to note is that the thread start is a delegate and it's actually used to hold the method references okay so we just hold the method reference right and then pass the delegate around does it guys like this video share it and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel programming users tv so as to continue receiving these tutorials on a daily basis otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class